Hey friends, it's Suzanne Mosley with Paper Pie. You can find me on YouTube and Facebook, Suzanne Shares Books. My Paper Pie website is SuzanneSharesBooks.com. I'm on Instagram, Suzanne underscore shares. Um, today, I'm excited. I'm updating all of my classical conversations and homeschooling videos on my YouTube channel. So if you look on playlist, click on CC slash homeschooling, and you can see all of the updated ones there for cycle one and for 2024. So if you're watching this, you may be a classical conversations family, and this is... Um, um, this video is specific to oceans, um, which is part of the science new grammar in um, semester two of cycle one. You go through the um, ocean zones and um, the four types of ocean floor. So I love anything and all things ocean. So here are some books that you can um, use to incorporate reading aloud and learning together at home. So let's start with some nonfiction. Um, I love this series, 100 Things to Know About series. And this one is specifically about the oceans. It's like a graphic novel. There are um, literally 100 facts. Your kiddos will like them. This one is great for upper elementary, even middle school. Um, some of these things that are shared are just really hysterical. Um, and also full color, very engaging. So it would be an awesome, really fun read aloud as well. One of the newest Shine a Light books, which you read with a flashlight, is um, Oceans, which is stellar. Um, so it is probably one of my favorites. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And because you do, um, in cycle one, you do vertebrates and invertebrates, all of the learning with oceans, you can also add another layer of, okay, there's a whale. Is that a vertebrate or an invertebrate as you're reading this about the ocean? Um, oh, and this is in the abyss, the abyssal um, part of the um, abyssal pelagic um, part of the ocean. So the question is asked on the right, you shine a flashlight behind it and you will see the um, anglerfish, which is so cool, which I learned about for the first time when we did um, cycle one the first time. Now these are just some really fun activity books related to the ocean. This is ocean sticker facts. So if you have a kiddo that loves stickers, you can incorporate their love of stickering um, with learning facts simultaneously. So this is a fun nonfiction activity book. Um, then just some really fun, fun ones. This is magic painting. You paint with water and the color comes out. Make sure to put the flap though behind where you're painting because the water will um, seep through to the next one. Again, there was a whale. There are some fish. Are those vertebrates or invertebrates? You can um, integrate um, your learning together, which I think is always so fun. A new ocean um, coloring book. This is mandala art. They're typically called adult, adult coloring books, but I think any any age would enjoy this. You can use color pencils, crayons. Um, very, very fun. Um, your kiddos could color with that while you're reading aloud to them. Also, build your own sea creatures. Love the series. Um, this one is definitely good for older because you do have to put the specific sticker in a certain spot. Um, so those are some fun ocean ones that I hope you enjoy as you take a deep dive into learning about the ocean and vertebrates and invertebrates with cycle one. Thanks friends.